Hey, I wanted to make a quick video I've been thinking about for a couple days now, and it's actually a warning, a warning to conservatives and Republicans. You know, we all know it's better to be the winner than a loser, right? And we've grown so weary over the last eight years, and we've been waiting for this victory uh, that's swept across Washington, D.C., and from coast to coast in the form of state legislatures, governorships, and, of course, the president, Congress, and Senate. So now the ball's in our court. They're wearing our jersey. And that's where it gets dangerous because we have a lot of things we've been complaining about with President Obama, the liberals, and Democrat legislators across the country for a long time. And the challenge is going to be how are we going to respond when our team does those same things? Are we going to stand up and hold them accountable or are we a cult of personality that's going to pretend like it's okay? Either because they're doing it for good or the right reasons or because Obama did it so we're going to do it and undo what he did. There's a lot of ways to rationalize that, but it's a very dangerous and it's wrong. And, and you know, I can only tell you what I do. When I'm looking at a law or power or an approach to government, I always imagine what it would be like if the other team was using that same tactic, power, or law. If they had done that or used it for their purposes, for their end game, how would I feel about it? And if I wouldn't like it if they were using it, then I shouldn't like it if our side is using it. Even though it might feel good in the moment to get a little revenge, long term for the cause of liberty, the legacy of this opportunity that we have is extremely important and takes eternal vigilance. We cannot be a cult of personality. We cannot give these Republicans a pass on everything that they might do. Hey, check back soon because I'll be doing regular rants about the state of our union and the future of our country. Thanks.